girl who, who just decided to chase her dream. Sky. All right. And what is your number, Doreen? My number is Tusker 12. All right. Tusker 12? Yes. Tusker 12. Tusker 12. All right. Let's jump over to Principal Helen. What did you think of Doreen's performance tonight? I remember on Friday when you were practicing this song, you had tears in your eyes because you couldn't know how to sing it. But then I think you were thinking about how Ian is so hard on you, how the song is so hard on you, and how everything in the world is just hard on you. But today, I think I give you a standing ovation. Thank you. Well done, Doreen. We do wish you well. If Doreen is the one for you, please text 12, and we'll let you know when voting lines open. Once again, a big round of applause for Doreen. All right, this is Tusker Project Fame Season 5. Coming up after the break, you got your main man, Steve. Great performances are all awaiting. Keep it here. Okay, it's Tusker Project fame, and if you've just started enjoying the show, well, sorry for you, we've got less than seven days to go. That's approximately 168 hours, 10,080 minutes, and I think 604,000 seconds before we crown. Yes, I know my math, I know. <laughs> but guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Before they actually are crowned, they're gonna have to sing and you're gonna have to vote. And voting lines are gonna be open, People are asking, so what's happening this weekend? Every single contestant who comes out here is going to be asking for you to send SMSs. And what's going to happen is that the one with the least number of votes next weekend will go home. Tough, isn't it? But it has to happen. But right now, it's time for us to see another performance. A young man from Kenya who's got it going on. Check out Steve. as you are. Steve is also very, very gifted. His vocals are really strong. It's, it's weird because, you know, when you're judging someone, you're, you're sitting across the, the, the table and he's standing over there and you're telling him, look, I think you did this, you didn't do this right. But, but this time around, you become sort of like a team. To the, the trans pause. You know, unlike the, the previous weeks where it's the faculty's responsibility to get, you know, the contestants on stage and perform, this time around it's, it's me. The way you do the things you do. But it's exciting, it's, it's positive. Ladies and gentlemen, doing a song from UB40, The Way You Do The Things You Do. Let's give it up for Steve. So bright, you know you should have been a candle. Baby, I hold you so tight. You know you should have been a handle. The way you set me up my feet, you know you should have been a broom. And baby smells so sweet. You know you should have been some perfume. Baby, you could have been anything that you wanted to. I can take the way you do the things you do. The way you do the things you do As pretty as you are You know you should have been a flower If good looks one minute You know you should have been an hour The way you stole my heart You know you should have been a crew And baby you're so smart You know you should have been a school boy Well you should have been anything that you wanted to the way you do the things you do The way you do the things you do You make my world so rich You know you could have been somebody And baby you're so sweet you know you could have been somebody Well, you could have been anything that you wanted to I can tell 
The way you do the things you do. The way you do the things you do. As pretty as you are, you could have been a flower. The look so amazing. The way you stole my heart. Yeah, the way you did the things you did, man. Uh-huh. So, Jelena, mm. how was this performance? Fabulous. The way you do the things you do, that was amazing. Thank you very much. I was impressed with you vocally. I remember we talked about this and we said, just have fun with the song. Just go with it. And I saw that. You had fun with it. You sang it well. And your swag was right up there. Loved it. Thank you very much. Great, great. Uh-huh. Mr. Mbugwa, what do you think? Totally agree with Juliana. I loved everything about it. The band, the dancers, BGVs, everything. Really nice. Thank you. Right. Uh-huh. Mr. Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Steve? Amazing. Uh, OK. You know, this is one of the songs I grew up listening to. UB40 is one of my very favorite bands. And today, I wasn't expected what you did because I saw you how you were struggling, but today you changed everything, creatively dancing on the stage, enjoying that song. You just made it happen. Thank you very much. Brilliant. So tell me something. This performance here, imagine if you were sitting here and you represented all the guys in the world, would you actually just sign that check and hand it over to yourself? I would escort myself to the bank. <laughs> All right, well, you can do that. You can escort him all the way to the bank by voting for him. As soon as we open up the, the voting lines, man, make it happen. So, man, you look into there. Tasca Tus 12. 11, Tusker 12. 11. 11. 11. Tusker 11 is his number, I hope. Yeah, it is. All right. Is. So Tusker vote 12. for him. This is Steve. Keep him in the running for a cool five million. Let's give it up for Steve. Team Kenya looking good, sounding good. On with the show. We're going to take a short break. But when we return, Miss Matata, oh, forgive me, Miss Matete takes to the stage. <laughs> Welcome back to Tusker Project Fame Season 5. This is our final week. The grand finale happens next week. It's amazing how quickly time flies, but you can catch up with us on Citizen, NTV, Star TV, RTV, RTNB, Channel 146 on DSTV, and you can also find us again on Citizen TV. Now, the prize at stake is 5 million Kenya shillings and a worldwide recording contract with Universal Records. One contestant is gonna win and we'll let you know when the voting lines open and you can do that on text and online. But up next is a contestant who's hoping to get your vote at the end of the week because last night you came through for her. It's been really fun. Um, Ruth already has a, a strong voice, so she's easy to work with. She grabs the song quickly, she, she gets the melodies, she's got her lyrics right. We just have to polish up a few things here and there. Don't look down when you're dancing. You look there. And you smile. Earlier when I was telling her, just come out, have fun, smile. Because it's a happy song, you know? Smile with the audience. Show them that you're loving the song because it's going to rub off on them. She's all set for the final stretch with a beautiful performance, taking on Beautiful from Asha. Let's hear it for Ruth. Beautiful. 
I'm telling you the power of Mandazis. Do not underestimate. Let's go over to your mentor for the week. Ruth, you were beautiful, Thank just you. like your song. All I could see up there was an African diva who's everything beautiful. Singing for you is as easy as talking. I was not even worried about you tonight. That was good. Thank you so much. Judge Gerard, do you agree? I do, but respect to the band, they sounded amazing too. Ruth, um, well done. Thank you, Gerard. Hiya, Mandazi Frigini, this is your opportunity to canvas for votes. Tafadali, why should anybody vote for you? One, if you vote for me, you're not only voting for talent, but you're voting for entertainment, you're voting for inspiration, and most of all, you're voting for a voice that is going to speak on behalf of the voiceless. So go on, go on. Run, 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 run. <laughs> all right, conscious music, that's the name of the game. Wait, stop now. <laughs> Let's talk to the faculty. Edu, did you see those moves? Uh, Ruth, I think uh, you, you are a good dancer. Your isolation was so good because dancing in those hills, hey, you, you did well. <laughs> you, all right. Good luck to you once again. What is the number to vote? Number is one. One. Ruth Tasker one. Yes. 
as you're yeah. eating your mandazi, just remember one for Ruth Matete. Once again, good luck to Ruth. A big round of applause. <laughs> Hello, yes, yes, I'm here, and I'm sitting with the contestants, and contestants on Twitter, somebody was saying that it's now a five-horse race. Have you guys ever seen a horse race before? You guys been on horses? You know, let's try riding horses now, you see? Now I said, you don't know horses, you know giraffes, <laughs> huh? Kimmy knows giraffes, huh? But now, imagine if we were all riding horses right now, you guys are all in the lead, huh? But only one person can win it. And Doreen, somebody said that ever since you dropped the color purple, you have started singing. So basically what it is is that purple is not your color, so forget it. Eh? So ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we've got a lot more action. This is Tusker Project fame. It's going to be hot. We've got, woo, watch out for Jackson here. It's going to be dangerous. <laughs> All right, it's that time again. Time for me to remind you about what's happening on the show. Tusca Project Fame season five is it's coming almost to a close. That means that one of the people you've been seeing on stage tonight is going to walk away extremely rich. We're talking about five million shillings in cash. That's a lot of money. And the voting lines are going to open up actually particularly early today at 8.40 p.m. As long as you have the number of your favorite contestant, start voting. But, you know, the thing is, you know, it's judges' choice night. So all the songs they're singing, well, it's not their own composition. Nope. The judges decided to help them out, said, no, polish this up here, do this there. And one of the judges there who thinks he's a superstar producer decided to bring his skills also, yes, to, to managing, to training. Let's see if actually it pays off with his, one of his star students, Jackson. <laughs> I think it's been a great experience working with Jackson this week and for me, I like him as an artist because he, he can actually interpret things very fast. It's, it's almost like I'm being judged. <laughs> well, I've spent the whole season judging him. Now this is the time where I've picked a song for him, I've mentored him and now people are looking at Jackson, they're also looking at Hermes. Jackson, one thing that Jackson must remember, this is his show. He, we are here to watch him. We are his audience. Ladies and gentlemen, doing a song called If I Knew by Madilu System, translated into French, Si Je Savais. Let's give it up for a man from Rwanda, Jackson Kalimba with Si Je Savais. Hey, yo. hey, 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 what's up? Your can go, it's okay. Let's go, Saba! Let's go, Saba! Bowling on so me, so me, da. Lola, no, no, eh, pa, pa, su, sue. Na, pe, ken, ga, lo, pa, la, ni, so. Kore, ka, nya, we. Zongi, sa, amu, mama. Na, ko, se, la, te. Amati mati na ba feti, songi songi tori ganga. Biso zela se pa ya zambi, bo apesa temple, bo nyoswa kase mi tunata. Na kose la te, si je savais ça. Yorango. Yes, 
Tusker Project fame. No. No, no. You, you, know, you know what? Co I, I, I really want to know. Come on, Chief Fisher. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> no, no. Tell you the truth, Judge Hermes, I've just now bestowed upon you not a master's but a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but quick question. I don't even have to ask how the performance was, but tell me. What were you thinking when you came up with this, Judge Hermes? I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just Jackson. You look at him and that and that what you, what you see. That's what you see. And thanks to my colleague here who also helped me in picking that song. Yes. Yeah. So I think she also uh, she saw the same thing. And I'm just amazed. Great. Très bien fait. Très bien fait. Judge Gerard, welcome to Tusco Project Fame Season 5. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Jackson, um, that reminded me of early days when I saw people like Papa Wemba and Kofi Olamide perform. It was awesome. I might just call Fali a pupa and tell him he must watch out. <laughs> All right. Jackson, question for you. Hein? Si tu étais quelqu'un assise là-bas, on devrait te donner l'argent. If you were someone seated there and we had to give you that money, huh? would you have actually given yourself that money? Est -ce que tu tu, tu t'aurais donné l'argent euh, La première chose, euh, je serais euh, convaincu. Pourquoi Parce que le, 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 le public, il m'aime. Yes. Yes. Um, he would be, first of all, very convinced because you guys are showing him love. You're showing him love. Yes. Et, et, et la deuxième chose, euh, être une star. Ouais. C'est quand tu te mets devant les gens, tu chantes. Et tout le monde est convaincu que vraiment tu as donné eh, le maximum. All right. So, and, and being a star is putting yourself in front of people. You perform, and people are convinced that you are there for them. Great stuff. Très bien. Voice, huh? Voice coach Kavutha, what do you think of the performance? Très bien. Très bien. Oh! <laughs> très bien. Très bien. Yes. I, I right. think it was very good. Great. Very good. Merci. All Merci. right. So, mesdames et messieurs, maintenant c'est le moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time now that if you'd like to vote for, for Jackson, c'est numéro quoi? Number 10. Number, Number 10. 10. SMS 
Tasker 10. So the numbers on your screen. Get those SMSs coming in. Faut envoyer. Commence maintenant. Je pense que ouais, ouais, déjà commencez, commencez, commencez. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've had all five of the contestants performing. Give a huge round of applause to Jackson. Man, oh man. Tell me, Sheila. Who do you think out of these five is walking away a multi-millionaire? Kashogi de Maguan. I, I can't tell. This is this is so hard. It's so hard, huh? It's too hard to tell, but it's all in your hands. We're gonna let you know as soon as voting lines are open, but we'll take a short break and when we come back, Najuta from Sanai Pei Tande on the stage. Good evening and welcome back to Tusker Project Fame Season 5. There's only one week to go to the grand finale and one of our remaining five is going to be our ultimate winner. Yep. And I hope you've stocked up on airtime. You need to cancel all your meetings. You got to make sure you've done your finger aerobics because you're soon going to be SMSing. As soon as we're done with the performances tonight, voting lines are going to be open. So you got to start sending those SMSs to make someone a multi-millionaire. At the end of this week, one contestant will leave the Tusker Academy, not because it's eviction night, but simply because they received the least amount of votes. But before we get to the goodbyes, let's say hello to our guest performer. She's taking on her hit track, Najuta. Make some noise for the lovely, the gorgeous, Sanaipe Tande. Ta -la -la.
Let's give it up for Sanai Pei. Oh, babe, you did a fantastic job. In fact, the whole time while you were performing, the contestants were saying, now, how can we be like that? Huh? Huh? What type of advice do you have for them? I think basically, first of all, I'd like to commend them for a great job. It was a fantastic performance, all of them. Don't you think so? And um, I think like in any other business, basically, as an artist, you need to keep reinventing yourself keep growing that way you'll stay at the top you keep setting trends and you'll always be the best all right thank you very much thank you ladies and gentlemen give a huge round of applause to sanai pay <laughs> all right so i'm sure a lot of you have just been wondering when what's happening man how is it that these guys hang so well can we finally just let's go back and just see <laughs> 